is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Quite a light show across the lower Arkansas Valley tonight. These strikes were recorded about 60 miles away from that line of thunderstorms, and it was still impressive. Man, I'm telling you, a lot of that stuff was coming down like crazy. Heavy rain, hail, that lightning was coming down fast and furiously. Around 8 o'clock, we recorded 400 cloud-to-ground strikes in just 10 minutes. All right, take a look at this. Heavy rain across parts of the valley tonight. This was in Rocky Ford. Man, I hope those melons didn't get flooded out. In addition to the flooding, many trees were knocked down tonight during the thunderstorm activity moving across the valley. Heavy rain flooding from Rocky Ford all the way out to Ordway. Some of the fields in Ordway flooded tonight due to the intensity of the rain coming down earlier this evening. We'll show you live radar in just a second. Right now, let's go outside for a live look in Colorado Springs. We've got cloudy skies and some strong thunderstorms across northwestern El Paso County. 65 degrees right now, upslope breeze at 9 miles per hour. In Pueblo, you've got dry skies right now from Sunset Park to Northridge all the way to the west side. Still really warm at 70 degrees. All right, here's what's going on tonight. Still have the residual effects of all that heavy rain running across the valley. A flash flood warning active until 1145 tonight within this box. Rocky Ford out along 50 out to 96. Still some high water across that area. Always remember if you can't see the ground and it's really hard to at night, you need to turn around don't drown. Those thunderstorms now lifting off to the north and east and weakening, but still popping some pretty good cloud to ground lightning. We've recorded 70 cloud to ground strikes with that thunderstorm complex just within the past 10 minutes. Dry in Pueblo, dry most parts of the springs, but there's that strong thunderstorm moving across the uh, northwestern section of El Paso County, moving fairly quickly, moving to the northeast at about 20 miles per hour, but again, getting some real good rain across portions of northwestern El Paso County, the Tri Lakes, into portions of Glen Eagle. This thing has been moving across the air. Air Force Academy. There's also some dangerous cloud to ground lightning as that thunderstorm lifts off to the north and east. And that's really it. The rest of southeastern Colorado, very quiet tonight. Red flag warning tomorrow, 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. for a good chunk of the viewing area from Monument Hill through the Springs, Pueblo, down to New Mexico, all the way back west of the Continental Divide. We're going to have wind. We've got some dry fuels. Humidity values very low. So all the elements coming together to produce some very dangerous fire weather conditions around here tomorrow. Stay away from anything flammable. Here's why we will have those red flag conditions storm to the northwest of us. Circulation around that's going to bring in some strong south winds, gusts from 35 to occasionally 40 miles per hour. That brings us that very high fire danger. If you see smoke tomorrow, please report it to local law enforcement as quick as you possibly can. Due to tonight's thunderstorms, I think we'll start with low clouds right up against the foothills along the I-25 corridor early tomorrow morning. Those will erode by about 9, 10 o'clock. We'll break out into the sunshine. Most of the thunderstorms just off to the east of us tomorrow along a dry line that's forming. I think we'll still have mostly sunny skies around here for most of the afternoon into the evening outside of a couple of fair weather clouds. Pueblo hot stuff today. The high was 93 in Colorado Springs. We topped out at 89. That's a brand new all time record high, breaking the old record of 88 degrees. All right, here's what happens around here tomorrow. Temps on the hot side again and look out for that gusty wind out of the south. Temperatures will be the hottest tomorrow that we'll have for the next seven days. Cold front comes in late tomorrow night into Thursday morning, so it's going to be noticeably cooler with that added low level fuel. I think we could see a few PM thunderstorms on Thursday. Dry and perfect Friday into Saturday. Another cold front coming in on Sunday. More low level moisture and that will support more afternoon thunderstorms. Some of those thunderstorms could be rather intense. We'll watch that very closely even on Memorial Day Monday. A chance of getting a thunderstorm. Pueblo hang tough tomorrow. It's going to be hot and dry. You go to the payoff window on Thursday. Cold front bringing sweet relief then drier air again to launch the holiday weekend. Surge of cool air bumps up against the mountains on Sunday. That upslope flow is going to produce a couple of afternoon and evening thunderstorms. And for Canyon City, you're not going to find a bad number anywhere in that forecast. <coughs> Cooler Thursday, better chance of afternoon thunderstorms by Sunday. Nothing that will rain out your barbecue, just a couple of passing PM thunderstorms. Woodland Park, windy with high fire danger tomorrow. It's a weather alert day. Red flag warning, no outdoor burning. Guys.